welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you stop a while. And if you're returning, it's lovely to see you again. Today, I'm going to be doing a full face of new makeup. Now, it might not be new releases, but they are new and un unused products to me. Um, I have done my eye primer, which I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. Um, some of this stuff I got in my Christmas swap box that I did with Riri. That isn't on my channel. Um, I kept it private this year. Um, so I'll show you the goodies as I go along. I did my brows off camera and I used the Barry M Take a Brow Shape Define Brow Gel. And I filled them in with the JCAT Perfect Brow Pencil. There is another, oh, there we go. Um, I think this is just called brown. Yep, dark brown. So I used those two products off camera and I used the Bobbi Brown um, eye base um, underneath my eyes and the Bobby Brown face base that I also got from Riri in our package, which I actually have tried these a, um, a couple of times because I was going to do my makeup and just thought I'd sit for half an hour, but then other things cropped up. So today I'm going to be using a brand that I haven't used before. This is Alien Cosmetics. I do believe that they've had a name change since. Um, I think they're now called an Earthly Cosmetics. Um, if you go out and check uh, the Brutally Honest Beauty, which is Riri's channel, I think she has videos up of them. I just love the packaging of this one, it's just gorgeous. And this is the palette with the same packaging on it. And this is the colour story. It's just stunning. I am going to swatch these so that you can see the colours. So the first one is the Fairy. And that's that there. It's a lovely colour. And the next one is Fern. And this is Mythical Moss. So it's the top three. And Wiping off my fingers in between just to make sure that. So this one is Meadow, then Bark, and Snapdragon. So that's that one there. That one didn't swatch very well. Yeah. As you know, swatches don't mean anything. That's how they work on my eyes, but. I just wanted to show you the colours in this palette. So this one is Queen Mab there and Eden and Frolic. So that's all the colours there. They are bonny colours. This is like, it looks really quite dark brown in there, but it's got a burgundy undertone to it. And I have no clue what I'm going to do. So I have primed this eye. I do one eye on and the other eye off camera because I have a droopy eye. I do have my tape on keeping it up just now. But just to make the video shorter as well. Um, so I will get started with the eye look. I'm thinking I'm going to go in with Bark first, which is this middle brown shade, which came out as more a uh, brown shade. There is a wee bit of kickback in there. My mirror's here if you're wondering what I'm looking at.
shimmer. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, blend this out a wee bit. Okay, that's the eye done. So that was the Mystic Moss colour I used all over my lid there. I'm not sure if you can see that. If not, I'll pop a picture up once I've done all my makeup to get a better look at that. I'll go off and do the other eye and then come back. Hey, welcome back. Um, I got a bit carried away and finished doing my eyes. I did the Bobby Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I think it's in brown or black. Black. So I used that. Lay out all over here so I can take a photo of it afterwards. And I went ahead and did the Eden Green on lower lash line. And I'm going to put in with my foundation next, which I am trying the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in 530. I think that is light porcelain. So I'm going to. Where's my pet my beauty finish now? Oh, I'll we'll just use a brush then. That one will be fine, I think. Handle all that one. 
is a bit of the oh, a beauty concealer in light cool and this is the, the bottle it's got that shape a teardrop shape and concealer a wand on the concealer rather just cover up a wee bit of the red patches where I had acne that's okay I'll just use a foundation brush again just to put the light up and through It's a mini powder, it's translucent and it's the NYX, NYX finishing powder, so I'll get a big fluffy brush for this one, so just load that up. going to go in with the Jacqueline Cosmetics Rouge Romance palette and this is the colours on the side there and inside this is what it looks like I think I'm going to go for this one Gorgeous palette. I'm now going to try the complexion trio from Alamar. This is the light, pure to light on there. It's not been opened yet, so I put my I thought I opened all the packaging, but I must have forgot this one. Show them that packaging you can open. Okay, and this is the close up. That's got a nice mirror on it, too. So I'm just going to use the same blush brush and go in with the Cafe Con Leche colour.
brush for underneath. I mean, what to darken a little bit? It's the only sort of that I do. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of this powder across the underneath here just to line up, clean it up a bit. Highlight is from Alamar Cosmetics as well. It's called the Sunlight High Shine Highlight Lacoste. And look at that, it just looks stunning. So I'm going to give my face a spritz first before I do the Just, just melts into the skin this one. I'm take a little brush and put it a bit above my I could use a little mirror here. Uses for the inner corner as well. I'll just get a little brush. the lip. This is a Colourpop Lippy Stick in So Happy. And that's the colour. These are so creamy. I do have a colour book lipstick be liner. I'm using the Never Regret Lip Vibes from Almi Cosmetics. I think it's called Tan Lines of Never Regret. Eh? What is that? I'll put a wee swatch next to the lip liner. And um, actually use a lip brush There we go. I will take a photo and pop up 
after this. So that is everything that I've used and this was the Fairy Frolic by Ealing Cosmetics but I think they are now Unearthly Cosmetics and this is the finished look. If you've tried any of these products let me know what you think of them very well. Oh, I forgot to put an eye on oh, Just pop in a little bit of green. This one is from the Tinkerbell range. I can't read that. So that's that look finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you used any of these products, let me know down below what you think of them. Um, so far, so good. I've enjoyed all of them. Um, hopefully this will wear well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye now.